I would like to invite Battalion Chief Eric Patton to present the bell ceremony. And Captain Yurk, to ring the last alarm. Please come to the stage. Before I start with the bell ceremony today, I want to recognize a special gift we have. Today with us, we have the United States honor flag. This flag has flown over ground zero. It's been into space. It's rested at the George Bush Library. And it tours, tours the country, visiting the funerals of those public safety members who've made the ultimate sacrifice. I want to acknowledge it and say that we're very thankful to have it here with us today. The fire service of today is ever-changing, but is steeped in traditions 200 years old. One such tradition is the sounding of the bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day's shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell which summoned those brave souls to fight fires and place their lives in jeopardy for their fellow citizens. And when the fire was out, the alarm had come to an end. It was the bell that signaled the completion of the call. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying the ultimate sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of the bell that solemnly announced a fellow firefighter passing. We utilize these traditions as symbols to reflect the honor and respect on those who have given so much and who have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that the brave souls had for their duty, a special signal represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. Captain Fortuna has completed his tasks. His duties well done. He has given his all. For our fallen brother, his last alarm. He is returning to quarters. <laughs> 